five now. Um, huh, everything's kind of offset a little bit. But you know what? Um, I'm going to try something uh, in just a few minutes with the camera. Just since since uh, having a mixer is something we're going to have to save up for, apparently. Um, I'll just have to adapt so that you know we don't miss any of the the entertainment. Because uh, I apologize, but the water's probably going to be kind of cold today. So, <laughs> and <laughs> Darren just makes this face like. <laughs> but anyway, howdy, howdy, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy October 1. Um, you can ask uh, my, my household here when I already uh, started getting out Halloween decorations. So. Yeah, she'll get out Halloween decorations on October 1 and December and Christmas decorations on December 23rd. That is not true. I'll wait until after just, uh, December 1. Huh? In some cases, we don't put them away. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, we talking about Christmas decorations or Halloween? Halloween decorations. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the, the mummies are going to be in the carport, you know, when they're not out front. So, uh, Hello everyone, uh, big hugs, um, howdy howdy. Uh, yeah, so, um, as I've put in the description, um, this weekend is the Feast of Amun after Opet. That's actually what the ancient inscriptions say, is the Feast of Amun after Opet. So you can kind of think of it as like uh, an ancient after party. Yeah. And as such, like all after parties, this is going to be kind of informal and fun and, you know, we're all feeling a little tired, but, you know. Like after parties are. So, why? So, I just, usually when you blink at me like that, it's like you, you're wanting something. So, an after party is kind of like a whiplash. <laughs> well, there, there was an anime show, the first one we ever went to, um, and we were regulars there for a long time. It was Anime Fest in Dallas, Texas, and they would have it every Labor Day weekend. And of course, if you've ever been to a convention on Labor Day weekend, that's four days of conning. And uh, the organizers and staff would have a Monday night party that they called the Dead Dog Party. And that was because they were, they were all dead dogs at that point. So. It always aggravated me that we weren't invited to those. I, actually, I think we were invited informally by somebody, but we were, we were so tired we couldn't even go to a dead dog party. Because uh, when you're a dealer, you work. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, uh, gosh, I, I almost have enough room for y'all to completely get in the room, but uh, it's, it's a tight squeeze in there. Um, I'm sorry, I'm making money. <laughs> huh, say what? It's like, sorry, I'm making money. I don't have time to have fun. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, that, that, that is convention sometimes. If you're going as a dealer, yeah, it's, it's, you know, uh, there, there are lots of panels and things that I missed getting to go to and Darren too, because one of us was minding a dealer table. So, you know, it's a trade off. It's like, it pays for the trip, but you, you have to sacrifice somewhere else. But, uh, all things being as they are, um, <laughs> oh, that's really cute. Um, someone says, uh, they picked up a bumper sticker that says, Ankh if you love Ra. Uh. And, uh, that's, that's really cool. I like that. Um, did you get that on Etsy? Because if so, I'm going to have to look for that. Yeah, we can all be a bunch of Ankhies. No, dear. <laughs> you know what? Because of that, I need to get this thing going. So that uh, I can cleanse you of your naughtiness. And you know what? I'm tempted to do something here. Uh, I was I was cleaning up in in the study, and I found this. Let me see if I can get it to where you can see this. This is actually a reed flute that is from Egypt. Still has the sticker on it. Yes, it's a nose flute. It is not a nose flute, but I figured something to kind of. You know, it's, instead of the instead of the wine bottle because it's that's really soft. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. 
<laughs> so now deer's about to fall out of his tree laughing. Speaking of all these. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, th think about it, you know, but just, it, it's, uh, uh, I don't know what the, the name of it would be, if this would be a Mismar flute or, or uh, a different kind, but, uh, yeah, the, the, the reed inside is different from the kind that you're, you know, used to, so it has more of a raucous sound to it, but there you go. Um, please do the bottle, please. Okay. <laughs> She's threatening to break it over me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, snake charming. Uh, actually, believe it or not, it's actually not a nay flute because nay flutes are end blown, and that one you actually, you know, blow in the end of it. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is can we be called the wonky onkies? You started a thing. That's terrible. You're welcome. It's terrible. You're welcome. Uh, we need t-shirts. The wonky onkies. Yeah, you know, I'm working on t-shirts for Bride of the Mummy. Okay, then the wonky onkies. Um. Yes, we're gonna we're actually gonna have a Halloween special. Fridays uh, ish. No, 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 no. We're actually gonna have a Halloween special this month, and uh, after service, I'm going to upload to premiere tomorrow um, the latest uh, comedic how to guide. So, you know, there's, yes. there's actually there's actually gonna be new videos coming out. I think um, we need to rename our, our company Wonky Wonky Productions. No, I'm gonna die now. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to do an archaic period sacrifice. Yeah, they're bringing the tech back out. You ever wondered why Ishtar said, told the Gala demons to take her husband in her place? I think you have an answer. <laughs> so, because of that, thank you, sir. These cool waters are upon my hands. And they purify me as Technute purifies me. Now, bear with me, guys, because I'm going to. And the rest of them. Okay. Hi, there we go. Now. All right. These cool waters are upon our hands. They purify us. The Stephanie purifies us. Hey, I'll lend to you and let you do. God, that's cool. <laughs> we come unto you without falsehood and without evil. Our purity is upon our hands. Our purity is within our hearts. And we cast out all evil. That pertains to us. <clears throat> we are pure. We are pure. We are pure. We are pure. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is what you see just off camera here. Let me put that back. Stop touching me. <laughs> All right, let's only at least buy me dinner first, you book. <laughs> okay, let me try to get the camera readjusted and uh, there. Hang on. I'm trying to center it up. Had I known you were going to put me on camera, I'd address better. Oh, come on. You're fine. <laughs> Remember, it's the OPET after party. Don't have to get formal. Well, honey. <laughs> and now she gets all bashful and shit. <sighs> Yes, that's our story, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> sure, so. what she did not say. Uh. Well, you know what scare beetles eat, right? Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what Darren's are made of. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh someone says, uh, "Yo, Darren's mane is majestic." Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well, thank you. 
Robert, is there something you haven't told me? <laughs> okay. All right. Come in peace, Bright Eye of Horus. Come in peace. Receive the light. The Eye of Horus shines like raw in the Twin Horizons, and evil hides in fear of it. Receive the light. The Eye of Horus destroys the enemies of Ra and all of their abodes till none remain. Receive the light. The Eye of Horus comes to the four corners of the world, to everyone who's tuning in. And everyone who will tune in later. And we are purified with it. Receive the light. You arise in the Akatis Kepri, O Ra, spreading your light upon the earth. You set in peace in the mountains of, Matu of Manu as a tomb, bringing your light to Duat. Shine upon earth as you do in heaven and Duat. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, and Amen. It came from noon at the first time, for such is your uniqueness. Hail and praise unto you, Amen Ra who placed who at your left side, for such are the words you commanded. Hail and praise unto you, Amun-Ra, who placed Sia at your right side, for such is your great wisdom. Hail and praise unto you, Amun-Ra, whose Hika goes before you, for such is your ability. Hail and praise unto you, Amun-Ra, who rules with Ma'at upon your brow, for such is your righteousness. Hail and praise unto you, Amun Ra. And hail and praise unto you, O Nechiru, you lords of love and lords of life. Grant us life, well being, and health. May our eyes perceive your goodness and our hearts receive your wisdom. May you shine upon us as you traverse the sky, that we may bring to you Ma'at and cast out his fet. May you guard us from the evil one through the dark hours of the night, your protection being before us and your strength being within us. <clears throat> Take these, your cool waters, which are the inundation, that they may cool your hearts. Are you not sure? These waters are the eye of Horus, that your hearts may be refreshed. Milk, milk, may you taste it in your shrine. May your hearts be refreshed with it. We bring you this milk from the great flow that we have you, and you may be purified with it. We give you incense. We give you incense great purity. This fragrance is the eye of Horus. It comes to you, cleanses you, it adorns you. It takes its place upon your hands. Oh, your we give to you this eye of Horus, which fragrance comes to you. Okay. Take this, your bread on which gods live. This bread is the eye of Horus, oh, your Nechiru. Lift it to your faces and be at peace with it. And uh, included in here are some uh, little peppers and uh, basil leaves from the garden. Including, this is one of the little purple peppers. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like a person. <laughs> and you know me, I looked at this and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's a Galvatron purple pepper. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want to get keep getting good things from the garden, you've got to be sure to offer. Um, one other thing. Um, if you've ever heard of, uh, I think I think it's pronounced jujube. Um, 
aka cedar fruit. That's the Arabic name, aka um, the now they call them Chinese red dates. And I got a pack of these at a Korean grocery store. But this is something that the ancient Egyptians had, and they would offer it. And as a matter of fact, if you remember the uh, the long list of uh, offerings that would go through a uh, a full opening of the mouth, right? You know, going back to the, the pyramid texts, one of the things they would offer was cider fruit. And so, you know, if you want to find this sort of thing now, uh, again, ch check an Asian grocery store and you might find this. So I was like, oh, I've got to, got to have this. And I'll be trying some later. Can we have some too? Yes, you can have some too. Everyone can have some that wants them. At least these don't look like roaches. Like the, like the dried dates do. I, I don't need anything that i got to worry about chewing. Gotcha. We'll talk about that after service. I don't want to know. I'm going to put him on a punch in the answer. mouth diet. Uh, I, I thought you were going to, you know, suggest something else. But no, no, I'm not going to suggest yeah. anything lewd or okay. cruel. <laughs> but anyway, so yes, those are our, our offerings. And speaking of the garden, like our offerings, our libations so that the garden may prosper. Especially for, uh, occasionally we have folks who tune in from Australia, and uh, it's uh, right after the vernal equinox for them. So. Congratulations, May. Vern. It's springtime in Australia. And so we're offering wine so that the winter crops up here in the northern hemisphere and the spring crops in the southern hemisphere may prosper. The gardens prosper and happy rejoices overflowing with his meal. We fill the eye of Horus for you with wine, O Ra, drink and be pure. The doors of heaven and the doors of earth are open with libations for you within this house. May your faces be refreshed with your libations, your wine and your water. If the gardens don't prosper sooner or later, somebody goes hungry. So we want them to do well. Now. Pure. Pure is Ra Haraketi within his house. Pure. Pure is Amun, Lord of Thebes, within his house. Pure are the cause of all of these gods, of this good myrrh that is given. Jehuti proclaims it. It is written in his house of sacred words. Hapi gives in abundance thousands of offerings, all things good and pure, for Rahoraketi, for Amun, for Moods and Khonsu, and for their needs in every place that their immortal cause dwell. So, come to your body, O Rahoraketi. Come to your body, O Amun, O Moods, O Khonsu. Come to your body, so you know what you do. Come to your invocation. Come unto us, your servants, who are mindful of your feasts and your offerings. Bring your power, your hika, your honor, and your ba to these your offerings, and partake of them. <coughs> Come, O people, raise these offerings before the faces of these gods. Lift the offerings before Ra, before Amun, before Mut, before Khonsu. All life comes from them. All stability comes from them. All health comes from them. All good fortune comes from them as it has since the first time. Ora Horaketi and your son, the Osir Nisu Nebkeperura. Your foes retreat from you. Horus turns himself to his eye. Turn yourselves to these, your offerings, and receive them from our hands. And now we honor our blessed dead. The eye of Horus, that it may light their way. Mm. 
and these cool waters from the table of Osiris, that their hearts may be refreshed. And you know what? Because uh, I've got the way the, ang the angle I have for the camera, I can actually show you the, the bell. Here we go. So this is what you're you're hearing. It's actually borrowed from my. Uh, Time as a uh, practicing Buddhist. Parakru ta henket ka kau abdu senachin maha kutnibet nofre wabet anket nachirim and kau and aku punibu maaku nibu kirim nachira. A voice offering of bread and beer, a thousand of beef and fowl, incense, oils, and all good and pure things on which a god lives, for the cause of all of these aku. All true of voice before the great God. And now we come unto you, O Ra, as Jehuti comes, our hands joined under Ma'at. Ma'at has come to be with you in every place where you are. An offering of Ma'at is made unto you, that your heart your heart may be pleased and your ka shall live. Truly your need has Ma'at, but I know you live in her. The need says unto you, your word is law eternally. Its fat is cast out by your word. Rejoicing is yours every day. Ma'at has taken her place in your shrine. And likewise, may we always act with gentility and compassion, for such is the first Ma'at. May we always offer charity and hospitality, for such is the second Ma'at. May we always respect, consent, and fidelity, such as the third Ma'at. May we always avoid violence and promote wellness, such as the fourth Ma'at. May we always speak words of truth, such as the fifth Ma'at. May we always promote the public good, such as the sixth Ma'at. May we always act humbly and with temperance, such as the seventh Ma'at. May we always honor our gods and respect others, such as the eighth Ma'at. May we uphold Ma'at like Jehuti, that we may witness Ra's perfection every day. Okay. Uh, we definitely had a prayer request. Um, Jory wanted uh, us to say some prayers for his mom so that she gets to feeling better. So, you know, I hope she's, you know, I guess she's not, not feeling well right now. So definitely we want to um, pray for her. And uh, I know we have folks that have loved ones that, you know, they're always wanting to, ask that they continue to have a long life, life, prosperity, and health. So uh, we'll read for uh, for Amon and for Moot, because her name means mom. So. <coughs> Going alphabetically. Actually, if, if any of y'all are familiar with the music of Enigma, um, that uh, that little flute, to me, it reminds me of um, something that they used uh, in uh, the album The Cross of Changes. Uh, it's their second album. Um, and you'd, you'd have to be like a, a, a big fan of Enigma to know you know, off the top of your head, but, you know, um, they, they use something that sounded similar to that. But, uh, I won't be playing it again this time because it seems to make you crack up too much. But. <laughs> praise to Amun-Ra, I make for him adoration to his name. I give him praises to the height of heaven and over the breadth of the earth. I tell his might to travelers north and south, beware ye of him. Declare him to son and daughter, to great and small. Herald him to generations not yet born. Herald him to fishes in the deep, to birds in the sky. 
Declare him to fool and wise. Beware ye of him. You are Amun, Lord of the Silent, who comes at the voice of the poor. When I call to you in my distress, you come to rescue me, to give breath to him who is wretched, to rescue me from bondage. You are Amun-Ra, Lord of Thebes, who rescues him in Duat. For you are he who is merciful. When one appeals to you, you are he who comes from afar. Praise unto Mut, Lady of Heaven, Mistress of Almond's house. Lovely of hands, she shakes her sistra. Her sweet voice is pleasant to the heart. She illumines the world with her rays. She causes all lands to prosper. Unique one without equal, eternity belongs to her. Great one of heaven, great of dread, foremost in the Aeneid. Mistress of the two lands who shines on all faces like Ra. And any others by request? I'm going to sneak over here and see. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, all right. So uh, Brian has tried jujubes and said uh, uh, they, they, they did care for the taste of them, but uh, uh, it says sometimes the best medicine is the most bitter. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Alrighty. Okay. A prayer to Anubis from uh, Mrs. Jackal on Discord. And uh, thanks to Jehuti and Konsu for helping me overcome stress. Uh, Dan, there's another Enigma fan. Yes. Um, Mrs. Jackal, isn't a prayer to Anubis a little obvious? Well, no, no. They, they're on the Discord and they're tuning in. So somebody's asking, you know, for them. Uh, <coughs> so we definitely want to do that. And uh, Anubis is well represented on the shrine. And uh, of course, then, then I, I'm thinking of that uh, uh, when I was working on, on a little mini shrine for Anubis and I opened it up and you can see Anubis inside and Darren started doing the bit from Atomic Dog, of, you know, bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Yes. <laughs> So. Hail and praise, O Anapu, great god upon your mountain, master of secrets in Duat, ruler of the West, fair son of Osiris, great physician who heals, your seal is our protection, crown prince of the Aeneid, keen faced among the gods, you stand at Osiris's side, you serve the blessed dead, they live because of you. May you continue to lend your keen ears and your watchful gaze and your gentle counsel to all of those that call upon you. Because contrary to pop culture, Anubis is a sweetheart. I think it's it's because uh, uh, I mean if you pop up in any book for beginners on ancient Egypt, what do they say about Anubis? They say, oh, he's a god of death, you know, or, or god of mummification. And so, to our mind, it's like, oh, that sounds scary. So we'll make him uh, that and and uh, the 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 whole thing with the the canine head, you know, that seems kind of scary to some people. And um, that's something that goes all the way back to Roman writers, you know. Um, but. Uh, you know, as I, I cast a gaze over at our, our uh, Roman pagan friend. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, if you remember, Anubis is uh, 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 mummification and, and the funeral and all that. That's that's like your, your initiation into the next life. And so that's uh, what an, uh, Anubis is, you know, in, in charge of is initiating you um, from one stage of life into the next. That's and if you think about it, really, that's why a lot of people come to Anubis first. You know, uh, they, you're getting into Egyptian paganism. Oh well, welcome. You know, uh, let let me, you know, uh, let me take you in and show you around. 
that's what Anubis does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and in the uh, in the Osiris mysteries that they would have in Abydos, and you'd have the, the the festival procession that would go down to the the old cemetery, you know, and you'd have uh, uh, Osiris and and his statue. Um, it would be Wepawet in the lead, and he's you know acting as defender of his father. He's kind of equated with uh, with, with Horus there. <laughs> So yeah, he's he's uh, the the one that goes goes ahead and, and clears the way. That's why he's the opener of the way. Yeah. So we definitely want to convey thanks to Jehuti and to Konsu, who's here. You know, he's part of the after party. So uh, thanks to for uh, helping people who've been dealing with stress. And um, I ask you to please uh, help because where where stress. Relieves for one person and picks up for somebody else sooner or later. So, uh, you know, we, we've all been, you know, taking our turns with it. So, you know, please help us in turn. Okonsu, the child, the very great, firstborn of Amun, good youth, sweet of love, king of all children, babe born alive who repeats birth like the sun disk, who repeats the renewal of Ra and Thebes, babe in the morning, old man in the evening, youth who renews at the proper times, who arrives as an infant after his old age, whom Mut gave birth to in Thebes as the august child, the living one in his manifestation of Kepri, Ra after he repeated births, a tomb in the evening within the entrance of Manu, Iris of the Ujat, Horus as a young child, babe of Amun-Ra, lord of food, plentiful of sustenance, lord of offerings, who gives to those he loves. May you continue to be generous to us. And to Jehuti, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a sense that uh, we need to ask Jehuti to keep looking after our students and uh, all of those who are in school. Um, so, you know, if you would please, you know, keep them under wing. Hail and praise unto you, O Jehuti, thrice great God, the son of Ra, Lord of Kemnu, wise one and you knew. You report to Ra every morning. Messenger of humankind, you know people by their speech and judge them by their deeds. Those true of voice before Osiris, their names are in your list. The Anid gives you praise as you guide the bark of millions, as you cast out the evil one, as you change strife into peace. You know all secrets, all books, all deeds, the fleeting moment, the hour of night. No report to Ra is forgotten. Your words endure for eternity. Friend of the people, wise and impartial, great one, lord of Ma'at. And may you please help us get through this Mercury retrograde without too much trouble. If, it's, if that can be done, please. Because, you know, it's funny, as we were just saying this, I remembered, oh, yeah, it was Mercury retrograde. So, you know, um, for, for those that are affected by that, you know, may, may Jehuti help us overcome it. And, and my request is that uh, the record that I brought to get transferred to DVD, may they be able to do that smoothly and, um, you know, uh, without any any hiccups and uh may the the music on that that uh that record be what i'm looking for for a project so oh. yeah we're actually getting close to the end of the box of fortune cookies but i do have a full basket of them here so um if, if anyone has a request for that yeah most definitely and, uh, Should we pull a fortune cookie to see if anybody gets a fortune cookie? Okay. Uh, wait, what? Should we pull a fortune cookie to see if anybody gets a fortune cookie? Oh, okay. Well, okay. Sarcastic had to had to, to pop out, but uh, no we way. Love, we love you, though. Um, okay. Uh, Prayer for my little brother's wife. She's in the ER to give birth. Okay, oh, yes. man. Good luck. Um, Lots of love. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Alrighty, and now we're getting our fortune cookie request. Well, you know what? Um, she's kind of behind Constant right now, but Talret <coughs> is uh, the 
uh, protector of women and childbirth, and of course, so is Hathor. So, uh, ladies, we ask you please be with uh, Brian's uh, little brother's wife. So that would be sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Yes, may please protect sister-in-law, and uh, may may she and child um, have a safe delivery. So, starting with fortunes, uh, okay, Daniel, and then Big Dad, and then Alex, so. Mm. Yes. Yes, and then Bess, who's also back there, I mean, Bess also watch over the child. So. Okay, so starting with Daniel. Okay, there's yours. Little brooks make great rivers. So there you go, Daniel. Um, I think that's a note of encouragement there, but also... Uh, uh, the reason why little brooks make great rivers is because they come together. So, if you are wondering about something, hopefully that uh, gives you some pointers. Little brooks make great rivers. Okay, and then Big Dead. Um, forgive me, um, I'm probably showing my age. If you guys remember the Big Red commercials? Yes. I, I, I think of that and then just think Big Red. <laughs> Smile a little closer with our friend Big Dead. Uh, and, wow, you got two cookies. One of them is choose another name. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to mess with anybody's online handle. Especially when you've been messing with me for years for having Neb Kepru Ra at Hotmail. But, hey, some people know how to spell that. Yeah, but most people can't even say that. D. Snyder can't. And for those of you kids who don't know who D. Snyder is, Google D. Snyder and then Twisted Sister. Yeah, well, he had a radio show for a while. And yes, I, but they wouldn't know what that was, you know. I know some of them are. There's some folks that are close to our age. But anyway. All right. Uh, big big Dad. And I almost said Big Red. Sorry. All right. The first one says, infinite patience produces immediate results. Now your second one. Keep your courage up and it will keep you up. So here we go, together. Infinite patience produces immediate results. Keep your courage up and it will keep you up. <clears throat> so hang in there. Okay, and then Alex and then Brian. And uh, okay, somebody's got a specific divination request. Let me uh, read that. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, uh, oh Mary Dra. Cool. So, uh, big, big Dead is, is like the, the username, you know, there's one, one username, but Rose or Big, big Dead, uh, or Rose is Big Dead is Mary Dra. So, um, okay, <laughs> but, uh, yes, and, and, uh, by the way, we, we, uh, uh, included a prayer to Mitch for you, Amin Nacht, for, uh, for your grandmother and for, for Jory's mom and for, uh, for health and long life. So. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, we're going Alex and then Brian and, and then a, a specific one. So, okay. Okay, Alex. Alex, it says, learn to enjoy every minute of your life. <sighs> so 
sometimes we we don't realize when it's calm and there's nothing going on that things are good. So uh, sometimes there there's some routines that you know when when circumstances in your life change you know you, you kind of wish you'd go back to that. Um, so yes, learn learn to enjoy every minute of your life. And Brian. And it says, all the little things will add to a happy journey. So all the little things will add to a happy journey. So enjoy those little things. Okay. And uh, Mario says, I have a divination request. What should I keep in mind? When thinking of the future, there's a job in New York that seems really likely I might get it. Okay. So what to keep in mind with regard to the future and with job prospects and, you know, should... I uh, think you already know what to keep in mind. Your mind is with it. All right. Well, let's let's see if they, uh, if they have anything else for us. Okay, here we go. Mario, it says, avert misunderstanding by calm, poise, and balance. Mm. For your calm. Yes, calm you must be. Yes. Yeah. Always in motion is the future. <laughs> calm, poise, and balance. You know, it'd be really fun if we had like a, a, a an Egyptian deity eight ball, kind of like your Yoda eight ball. <laughs> so, who would be the eight ball? Oh, uh, that yeah, that's that's the thing is that you know which which deity would would be our, our you know diviner that would have the eight ball. You know, <laughs> there are several candidates that come to mind. But uh, okay, uh, I saw that Amenoft had a request for one, and. Um, <laughs> and Mario's like, why did I already think of the the Yoda hmm, before Darren said? <laughs> yeah, I'd be a, I think I'd be a little bit afraid if Set was the eight bubble though. Although I do think if sooner or later the the rest of the pieces will fall into place for a, a, a divination system that that's been kind of like just coming to me in little flashes you know for years you mean and, little divinations i don't know something but anyway uh uh it's it's something i i only work on it when i have just the right inspiration and uh set needs to be somewhere in like a quadrant that sounds divine I get after you with that red flute again. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so I'm going to act as a request for a divination. There we go. All right, I'm an oct. It says, "Just to be alive is a grand thing." Hmm. Pay attention. Just to be alive is a grand thing. Yes, that's face value, but pay attention to where you've been in your emotions and in your thoughts. Hmm. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Remember, when our when we're hard on ourselves, we make Anubis's job harder. That's right. 
And think about all the ones that love you that are on the other side. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't want you to make life hard for you. Yeah. And uh, one other thing, I do uh, want to extend um, uh, prayers for uh, success for, you know, our uh, pal Nick, who um, is, has done a couple of interviews this week. Yeah. And uh, we want, you know, something to, to turn up. Yes, we want success to flower for him, and we want it to flower in the form of money. <laughs> Consistent, continuous, ever-flowing money that happens to have a small river for us. But <laughs> we want we want to see you uh, prosperous <laughs> and happy. So. It's the Friday Night Delirium, ladies and gentlemen. Please <laughs> forgive me. Oh, I'm <laughs> Okay, and uh, Amina says, I've been so busy lately, it's been hard to do the things that make me happy because everyone wants something from me. Sometimes um, you can tell some of those people, no, you may love them, but remember, if you're not giving out energy that is fully recharged, you may be giving out positive energy, but when your battery is not recharged, uh -huh. the energy you give, if it depletes you, it's going to come back to you as negative energy because you can't give your best. Okay. So well, take a break, recharge. Yeah. Well, and that's one of the things we try to do here is, is you know, it's a chance for everyone who tunes in on Fridays to um, be together with some fellow chromatics and uh, for us to, you know, have some laughs, which you guys happily provide. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and and just to, to feel better. So hopefully this helps you to recharge a little bit. And, um, yeah, remember, if you can't take care of yourself, then, then it's going to make it harder to take care of other people. Right. I didn't say so. tell anybody <laughs> no, but you can't tell them to wait. Okay. Huh. I think the easiest way to refer to me is the Temple IT Department. Well, yeah, you're definitely our, our resident <laughs> IT person. Um, <laughs> yeah, actually, my computer was doing something weird a couple of hours ago, and so uh, he comes back from cigarette break. And I'm standing at the door like, you know, okay, because you know, I'm like, okay, my computer's doing something weird. Come, come fix it. But, uh, yeah, and, and I'm like, if I ever become red shirt, I will hook you guys up. Well, um, I guess that, that thing about little, little rivers make, make, uh, or little streams make great rivers. I think, you know, if all of us are able to do a little something, you know, hold on. Oh, okay, uh, hang on, I got something on the... Somebody sent me a message on the Discord, and, and I think I know what it might be about, but uh, uh, what I'm going to do, because I, I don't want to screw up the video chat, I'm going to uh, check that afterwards, and, and then, you know, so I, I saw that you messaged me. You know, um, I'll get to you as um, soon as I can. But if anybody else has got any other uh, uh, requests, you know, or prayers that they want to you know, extend, um, you know, we're, we do this till everybody's been, you know, loved on at least a little bit. And what are, huh? That's where I tell them ready my home. Yes. Okay. So, uh, a, a divination for, uh, Yamanu. I'm just curious to know what had your attention. I was looking at a couple of the transformers. Yeah, well, especially I the looked up and in that direction. Yeah. Yes, and and uh, uh, the the idea is that you look up and Megatron is looking down at you with his cannon. Well, voice, so. I, he's been drawing a bead on my heart my whole ritual. Well, oh, that's that's I don't don't piss him off. That's Galvatron. That's Megatron up there. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that, that gets into a whole other debate. I want you to know if that begins to glow, I'm I, I'm diving <laughs> the other way. <laughs> yes, don't offend the temple guards. I did not mean to. <laughs> I meant no offense. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, while they're playing, let's see what uh uh the Theban Triad has for for one of their own.
They know you and they know your name. It is hope, not despair, which makes successful revolutions. There you go. It is hope, not despair, which makes successful revolutions. So uh, if you're wanting to make some kind of a change or something, do it with, with hope, not yeah, not despair. Darren's either channeling Yoda or hungry. I can't quite tell which right now. Um, I think Darren can channel Yoda. Yoda's, Yoda's his favorite character, you know, or one of them anyway. So I think he can kind of channel Yoda, certainly do the voice rather well. But uh, uh, how much you uh, said it? Did you want a, a divination or anything? Or are you just kind of, you're tuning in? <laughs> the why not divination. I love that. All right, well. Set is also uh, behind the main podium. Huh? Can we pull it? Oh, you want to pull it? Okay, Daryl wants to pull it for you. Um, okay. Oh, you're going to open it. <laughs> Here, you open it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, here you go. And it says, it is up to you to create your own adventures today. <laughs> Sada, you know what that means, don't you? Well, I think this is metaphorical. It's not like going out and painting the town red. It's about... You know what that means, don't you? Don't what? He says, you know what that means, don't you? Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Huh? Maybe it means go Maybe you do. Why have you not been doing that all along? You know that's better than average for you. You need to be doing that. Hmm. You know that it does more than what gets put on paper. Writing or drawing or something. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, creative outlets. Um. Oh, okay. All right, and and uh, okay. So that that was uh, Yodi the message, and it's just the thing I remember. Okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> oh and Almanac says y'all make me want to watch Transformers. You guys make it sound so cool. <laughs> it is cool, unless you know you're watching the Michael Bay shit, then oh. it's not cool. Um, yeah, I, I realized when when I panned the camera around, you couldn't see uh the the. The rest of the why, why, why don't you do that for okay. a second? All right, just for a second, guys. I will pan around and let you see. We'll let you see the Ushabti of the temple. Okay. Well, well. First of all, I'd have to move the music stand a little bit. No. Um, well, okay. Yeah, you would. Well, yeah, because because you you know the the music stand is kind of obscuring some of them. Yes. But uh, lots of things obscuring some of them. But I, I tell you what. Um. Well, certainly. Uh, he's probably going to fill the camera, but okay, just for a second, I'll bring it around. And can you see Galvatron? They can see. Oh, uh, well, part of him. Yeah, well, okay, that's like a. I have just to, tilt up. There you go. There you go. Uh, okay, work, yeah, there's. Work. Okay, there's Galvatron. Say yeah. It, I'll <laughs> so, well, well, he's, he's, he guards the, the closet and he kind of watches over the, uh, the Etsy inventory. So, okay, let me bring the camera back around so I can. Yeah. Well, that's just Galvatron. You ought to flip it, Trump, Trump. There we go. Yeah, well, again, I would have to do that. And, and see, the thing is, I actually have kind of a brief tour of the rest of the study that's uh, in my uh, Patreon exclusive videos. Oh, yeah. So yes. join Patreon, guys. Yeah, it's so it's, it's like, awesome. Yeah, now the, the exclusive, the top tier where all the exclusive videos are, that's like the $25 
range. But you know what? I, I know people do this. They'll like subscribe for a month at $25 and then they'll drop it back down to something just so they can go and see all the neat stuff. And then, okay, I've, I've seen it. And that's fine, you know, because it, it's on me to kind of keep making more interesting videos and have you give you a reason to keep wanting to, you know, uh, subscribe for more goodies. That's so, right. So, uh, and we're working on it. But in the meantime, that kind of shows you, you know, just a little bit of it. And actually, if I do have a Facebook page that I uh, I edited together uh, some stuff from the Transformer series, so you can watch it. Yeah, um, because you know it, it, it is fun. That's that's one of the things that we grow up on, and you know, so yeah, they're they're like our, our temple guards. <laughs> so, okay, so is uh, can, are you guys seeing everything? Is is the connection okay? All right, because my phone is chirping, and I'm like, so, say so what? I tell you what, you guys. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's uh that's that's Galvatron. He's he's like he's taller than me. So. But I don't know what's going on with my phone. Is there somebody wanting? I don't know. Yeah, it's like somebody's trying to call me or something. But I'll have to get to that later because we're we're trying to wrap up here. So, okay, any more requests? Um. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> so someone's saying uh, that uh, uh, their guardian, their their little guardian is uh, Mothman. Mothman, where's that from? Uh, cryptid in uh, West Virginia, I think it is. The tick, okay. Oh, from the tick, okay, okay. Oh, that Mothman. Yeah, Different okay. Mothman. Cool. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and, okay, I know what's going on. It says your connection is unstable and they're trying to reconnect, although everybody says that it's all uh, 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 coming through fine. But, uh, uh, well, remember, okay. the folks on the Here. chat. Mm hmm. They're hardwired in. Mm -hmm. Yamanu is not. Okay, that might be what it is. But okay, um, request uh, you know to, for the guys to continue to you know have your back and uh, not not don't. I'm mean, not. Don't worry. They're they're not going to turn away from you. Um, things may be tough, but they they wouldn't abandon you. The I mean, gods are there even when you fart, man. Come on. Gosh. Well, if you've, if you've taken on Amun's name, the name Amun Nach, that means Amun is, is strong. Amun right. is victorious. You know that that's you know uh, you're you're giving him praise just with your username. Yes, he's, so he's not going to leave you. You'd yeah. have to leave him, right? And even if you did, he kind of watch your back anyway. Yeah. And then when something happened, he'd be like, "Come here." Yeah. So so don't don't worry about that. But... He's not going to leave you, and we're not going to leave you either. That's right. So, alrighty, guys. Well, uh. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up just because I don't want something weird to go on with the connection. Um, while, while it's good, let's, let's keep this going. But uh, uh, as always, we love you and we're glad to do this every week, you know, and, uh, and thank you for tuning in. And uh, we ask that the gods continue to watch over you and uh, place their arms of protection around you as we go through the week and see you safely back here. Uh, on Friday next week, so. Hail unto you, Atun. Hail unto you, Capri. You come into being upon the primeval hill. You shine forth upon the shrine of the phoenix in you new. You breathe out Shu and Tefnut. May the giving of these offerings endure. As in the name of Atun, foremost of the great need endures. May they endure as the name of Shu, Lord of Upper Menset, and you knew, endure. As the name of Tefnut, Mistress of Lower Menset, and you knew, endure. As the name of Geb at the Earth's Ba, endure. As the name of Newt in the Shrine of Shinit, and you knew, endure. As the name of Aset in Necheru, endure. As the name of Sutek in Nubet, endure. 
as the name of Horus in pay endures. As the name of Wajit in depth endures. As the name of Chihuti in Hemenu endures. As the name of Ra in the Akhet endures likewise for eternity. You have come in peace, O Ra. You have come in peace, O Amun. Mut, Konsu. You have come in peace, O Nechiru. May you go forth in peace, O Ra. May you go forth in peace, O Yunechiru, to every place your immortal cause wish to be. May you sail in joy in the Manjet Bark, and rest content in the Sektet Bark. And may you smile upon us, your humble servants. Okay. <laughs> yes, much love. Okay. Whoop. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, if I, I if y'all want to keep talking on on Discord, that that is absolutely awesome. And uh, you know, definitely, uh, uh, I'm gonna you and you and Yodi get together, and and uh, uh, I will talk to you guys. You know, when I get a chance, I got to take care of people, you know, after the service. But much love. Hope you guys do well. Have a good week. And see you next next Friday. Set, reset the router or something.